Homesteading. I'm doing a little bit of an update on the raised bed victory garden series. Uh, we're harvesting some carrots today and they did absolutely good this year. Um, I'm super happy with them so I'm going to show you. Okay so let's see they look like they've done very well. Oh there's a they're not too long but there's a lot of them. Look at that that's a nice one. The new fresh dirt we got, uh, they grew really, really well. The dirt we got for the raised bed garden was really, really nice. Uh, nice and loose dirt. And it really seems like that really helps the carrots grow. Um, if your ground is too packed, it's hard to grow carrots, it seems like anyways. We never had much success in the big garden because I live in an area that's got a lot of clay and uh, when you have lots of clay it gets packed hard and it's hard for the root vegetables to grow but with the raised beds and the dirt we got it really really did um, grow very very well one thing I've noticed it seems like carrot seeds you know is very easily moved by rain so when we put them in rows, I feel like the, uh, the rain must have moved the seeds around a little bit. And then it made the population a little bit higher. So there's little clumps every so often that has small carrots. And they probably would have done better maybe if we thinned them out. But uh, the carrots that are here, they look awesome. And for some reason, I found this bed uh, took way longer to get going than this bed. So I'm assuming the carrots in that bed are going to be a lot bigger, uh, but we'll have to see. Look at that. There is nothing wrong with those carrots. This is the pile we got from this raised bed. So we're going to see how many come out of this one and see if this one gave more. Um, man, we're going to have lots of carrots. We'll have to find out ways to uh, preserve them. Okay, so let's see how many come out of here. Okay, those aren't too big yet. Oh, this is a big one. Oh man, they missed up a turnip or something in the seeds. Anyways, we'll pull that out. This bed took off way quicker than the other one did. So I was only assuming that they were going to be bigger. I haven't seen it yet. Wow, that's a pretty good, those are decent ones. We'll just keep going. Carrots are more of a cold weather crop and we had a really, really dry uh, year and uh, they really started to take off in the fall, but uh, Krista watered them all summer long diligently and uh, that's probably a big reason why they look the way they do too. Um, but they definitely did take off more when it started to get cooler uh, in the fall after the uh, hot spell anyways. I would definitely say the carrots are a success. When I started the raised bed victory garden series, um, I was kind of worrying about how much space I had compared to the other garden because we didn't plant the other garden this year. Um, but what we did get, uh, I've been super happy with. I feel like we got as much production out of the smaller space as the bigger space. Some are small, which are kind of good. Small little carrots taste really good. And there's some that are actually a decent size. 
We're almost done the second bed, so then we can see which one was a little more productive. I forget how many packs of seed I got from here. Um, I don't think I ordered too many packs of uh, carrot seeds. So they really, really, you get a pretty good yield from very little seed. Look at that, those are awesome. Wow, there's a good one. So nevertheless, it's a super, super carrot harvest this year. And you know what, the Raised Bed Victory Garden Series has really been a success. Uh, right from starting the seeds in the house to actually uh, growing them and harvesting them. Uh, basically, when you start harvesting your garden, you really do feel um, all that work is worth it. Because man, I got a lot of carrots. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. We're gonna can some, freeze some, and then we're probably gonna to try to uh, pack some in the fridge and see if we can have carrots, fresh carrots, as long into the winter as we can. So uh, that's about enough for today, and you guys have a good.